as people continued the cleanup from Tuesday evening that left in South Windsor. Another powerful storm brought more damaging winds. It hits you, it's bright and sunny, and then five minutes later, there's just this windstorm, and you can see it just in the trees and the leaves and everything, sticks getting blown everywhere. The fast storm poured rain and brought thunder and lightning for the second day in a row. It was just all lightning. You could hear this, the big rumbling and everything. It was hard to drive. You're driving on 91. You could barely see it. As we were driving, it was like, um, we were out of the storm and then in the storm again and then out of the storm and then in the storm. It didn't last long, but it left lasting damage. Fast and furious, yeah. In Suffield, moments after the storm, reports started pouring in of downed trees and power lines. Emergency crews responding to Bridge Street for a tree that fell across the road. And on Sheldon Street, a branch was through the windshield of a car. Homes and businesses were left without power. Among them, Xanto of Suffield. Uh, yeah, the storm came through, moved pretty fast, around 10 minutes, and uh, we, we lost power. You know, all we heard was a lot of police sirens and fire trucks. And take a look at what happened in Windsor Locks. A tree snapped and fell right on top of the scoreboard at the high school. I feel bad for the high school because <laughs> that's I think that's a brand new scoreboard. But that's what the wind does. I mean, this is you know, powerful. The winds are just knocked the tree right off the roots and just fell right on it. The heavy wind setting people up for yet another day of cleanup. And a quick update here on the power outages in Suffield. I'm checking the Eversource outage map right now, and right now Eversource is reporting 178 customers without power. That's a huge improvement from what I saw even just a few hours ago, where it was more than 2,000 customers without power. So some improvements here in Suffield. We're going to keep you updated as uh, the weather continues. Again, still seeing some lightning out here and uh, hoping at least the rain is over for the rest of the night. Live in Suffield, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.